हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन अजोर डेटा फंडामेंटल्स ए के ए डी पी नाइन हंड्रेड एंड आई हैव जस्ट अटेंडेड इट एंड आई विल बी शेयरिंग विथ यू गाइस द होल प्रोसेस एंड ड्यूएंड प्रोसेस हाउ टू मेक इट फ्री हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट हाउ टू गिव इट द एग्जाम एंड पास इट लाइक अ प्रो Yes. So, like, uh, I remember having uh, thinking of contemplating of giving this exam for like five to six months, but I haven't appeared for it. One of the reasons is I was too much skeptical. I was too much de- dubious. I didn't want to lose four thousand bucks because I was I was afraid. What if I what if if I if I I'm not able to clear the examination, I'd be losing four thousand rupees. It's almost four thousand rupees. Um, like. For many of us, company might be paying for certification, but still, if you fail, company doesn't pay, so right. So I was dubious, I was skeptical, and I thought of appearing for this examination for like four to five months, but I didn't appear for it because every time I thought of giving this examination, I felt like I am not prepared. What if I fail? Blah 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 blah. So a lot of questions were coming in my mind, but thank God, one of my colleague helped me out. He told that Suraj, this examination is completely free if you just follow certain steps. So I followed those steps. I made the examination free for myself, and now I'm willing to make it free for all of you listening to this video. But thus, let's start with the process of knowing this examination and how to make it free for yourself as well and clear it like a pro. So let's start with knowing what is TP nine hundred or Azure Data Fundamental. Yeah, the batch you see on the right is what I received yesterday after clearing the examination. So what is Data Fundamental exam? So it's a it's basically a certification that substantiate that candidate taking it has the core level understanding of data a different kind of data how it works so if i give an example in the examination you will be asked questions on different data formats relational databases non relational databases json key value pairs columnar databases graph databases so in order to answer these questions you must have good deal of understanding of these things uh, uh i remember one of the questions being asked uh json format was given and it was asked whether uh, one of the key that was specified was a, a root or a nested uh, object or a nested array so in order to answer this kind of question you must have the core data knowledge you must have the knowledge of understanding different data types different formats of data so it the so this certification basically substantiate that you have those knowledge and you can apply those uh, knowledge related to data using azure services besides that this certification prepares you for much higher level of certifications associate level certifications this is a very foundation level basic level fundamental level certification and after that you can target uh, certifications like uh, related to data engineer or database administrator who should take this examination well in my opinion if you are getting something for free you shouldn't miss it so anything that i get for free i i pounce on that uh, so this certification being free i must suggest you guys pounce on this yeah practically speaking cloud is a very big thing in upcoming 2 to 3 years a lot of uh, trends a lot of technologies would be shifting to cloud with that being said don't you think that taking certifications related to cloud be it azure be it uh, aws be it ibm cloud be it uh, google cloud platform is something that can add starts to your career right it's important you may not know when uh, something new comes in your career and you have to learn new technologies you have to do a transition so being prepared is something very important so you should get the certification even uh, like if not being applied in your current day to day activities at least you will have a certificate to substantiate that you have some idea about cloud anyone related to sales finance uh, managerial level uh, can take it too because you must have heard of power bi so power bi is basically if i uh, boil it down to a very simple level it's basically a higher form of microsoft excel yeah so you can do like anything that you do in microsoft excel you can do it in power bi and that to in a very better 
an improved format. So data visualization, data representation, data modeling can be done in a very fabulous way in Power BI. And Power BI is integrated with Azure cloud services. So if you are related to finance, if your job is related to manager, um, if managerial stuffs or related to sales, I guess taking this cloud certification uh, on data fundamentals will help you in the future. Why should I take it? Like one of the question that often people ask uh, about any certification bait is why should I take the certification? So one of the thing, any kind of certification adds value to your career. If I uh, pick a uh, example from my career when I was doing a transition from Cognizant to KPMG, I I cleared all the interview rounds. There were three rounds to win. When then during the HR round, when we are when I was negotiating about my salary, HR asked me one thing: How many certifications do you have? And guys, let me tell you, at that point, I had done a lot of trainings. I had got a lot of certificates related to those training from Udemy, from Coursera, from LinkedIn, uh, from edX, uh, from whatnot, but I didn't have any certification. Yes, I didn't have any certification. If you go to my LinkedIn profile, you can see I have done a lot of trainings, like almost uh, 20 to 25 trainings, Yeah, but I didn't have any certification. And the reason being, I always thought like, if I'm having knowledge, I guess that works a lot. That works for me. Uh, having certification doesn't bother us much. But let me tell you guys, in today's competitive world, having certification is very, very important. So go to the certification, if not data fundamentals, anything else that's related to your field, but have yourself certified, guys. Yeah, uh, exam pattern. Before moving on to exam pattern, let me tell you, even if you are... Um, not into a college uh, if you're in school no issues like go for this because in one of the YouTube videos I have saw I have, I have seen a, a guy in high school took the certification so it's never a constraint it should never be a constraint to you uh, whether you are in college or a professional person uh, if you're in college you can take this certification if you're professional guy you can take this certification even if you're in school you can take this certification so don't limit yourself let's see the exam pattern so there is 40 to 60 questions uh, and sorry there's a typo it's it should be 80 minutes uh, sorry for that it should be 80 minutes uh, 80 minutes of the examination MC questions of different patterns would be there and the passing marks is 700 so MCQ questions of different pattern. What do I, what do I mean by that? If you see on my right, right. If you see on my right, you can see um, questions of different patterns. So you can see questions where you need to select one of the options. You can see questions where out of the questions you have to select either yes or no. And there is match the following type of questions as well. So this kind of questions varies, and uh, the number of questions you can see in the examination varies as well. So I got for got 49 questions it could be something else for you now how to schedule it okay so uh, we'll have a quick look on the slide and then we'll go to the browser and see how we can schedule it so now to schedule it we have to uh, schedule our um, training first so there are certain trainings we have to register for the training first uh, the link of uh, the registration is there in the description uh, you can uh, just click on the link in the description and you will be navigated. So once there you have to um, register for a training on data fundamentals and after you registered you will receive a mail and it will have the dates of the training. On those dates you have to mandatorily attend the trainings which lasts for almost two to three hours. Two days training and the timings are generally 9.30 to 11 or 12 at night. So I guess it uh, won't be uh, hindering with any of your day-to-day -day activities. And next comes your schedule, the examination. So once you have completed the training, you will get an email with the um, registration link for the examination. So you have to navigate to that link and you have to enter your email ID using which you have attended the training. You have to claim your free training and then you have to schedule exam let's have a quick look on how to do this so 
I was talking of registration so this is the link where you need to register need to go and what you can see is there are certain trainings that are scheduled on 8th uh, on data fundamentals AI fundamentals on data fundamentals we have a training again on 15th so if you're watching this video today you can schedule you can register for this training okay so once registered for a training you will receive a mail which is kind of this so this mail has the um, details related to your training so this is data fundamentals part one part two training so i took this training on april 20th so once you attended the training after attending the training you will get another mail which is kind of this so this states that you have attended the training and um, you have you can schedule the examination in five uh, business days okay so once you click on this link you will have a window opened which is this so you can see like uh, the uh, cost is given here it's 3693 INRs but you can take it for completely free the process is just you need to click on schedule with PSN views there are a few more options as well these are nothing but uh, the organization which conducts examinations so if we click on PSN view you will be asked to log in using your um, register your registered ID Once registered, you will get this uh, form. You have to fill in a few details. Then you have to press continue. And here you have to claim uh, your um, Microsoft Training Days attendance first. And once done, then you have to enter your email ID, check eligibility, and schedule exam. I can schedule it again because I have already chosen it but this will suffice and once done once you have scheduled your examination you will get a mail something like this which is related to your scheduled date and all and here in the bottom you can see the uh, exam schedule date and the exam uh, related information this is how it goes now let's see how to prepare well uh, i did my preparation in just eight hours and uh, like you can do it even for less than that if you have good knowledge of data related stuff so how what i did is uh to um few learning contents in the azure portal uh, the link of those contents are there in the description so you can directly go and learn from there i went there i tried to learn from uh, that portal but things were very monotonous mundane and boring to me there so i started finding a uh, few quick options and i got a channel called a guide to cloud it had almost like 20 videos um, the total uh, duration would be like three hours and i resorted to that channel to learn and i'm telling you guys that the content is really very good and that we clear the examination so i watched each and every video i grabbed the concepts well um, after that i did some questions and for that i followed this channel p3p technology to the point the link of both this uh, channels are there in the uh, video description and in this channel they have four videos in each videos they are so solved almost like 10 to 15 questions and going through all these videos helped me grab like what kind of questions i might face in the examination and I must tell you guys that out of the questions that I've seen here, seen there on the, that video, almost 85 questions, almost 80 to 85 percent of the questions were there in the examination. So this content helped me to a great extent. How, what happens on the day of the examination? So the, this is very important. Uh, and I, I would like to highlight a few points. What happens on the day, uh, day of examination? What happens is once you uh, uh, get the link uh, 
So what happens is you get the link uh, related to examination and you have to log in 30 minutes prior to the uh, scheduled time. So my scheduled time was 1.15, I had to log in at 12.45. And you must have your uh, voter. Uh, you must have your ID proof with yourself, and you need to uh, take few snaps. You have to take a picture of the front side, back side, left side, right side, along with along with the photo of your ID card. And once all those things are done, uh, your proctor will be connecting with you uh, and will ask you to rotate your system, show on your front, back, left, right show the desk on which your laptop is kept. You must ensure that there is no paper. Your phone should be like over one hand away from your, your sitting position or sitting place. And once all these things are ensured, your proctor will ask you to start the examination. So once you complete the examination, you can revisit the questions again. There is no negative marking. And most importantly, once you finish the exam, you will get to see the score immediately. So you get to know if you have passed or not and immediately the the badge or certificate is not available on the website it take almost like 15 to 20 minutes so don't panic if you don't see your badge or certificate immediately on the portal it, it takes some time so with this uh, i wish you all the best for your examination and if you have any doubt any queries any concern you can comment you can ask me you can reach out to me on linkedin Thanks for watching, like my channel, share this video with your friends and keep me motivated to come up with more videos on certifications.